Hello, in this session we will talk about downloading Linux virtual machine appliance. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. There are tons of Linux distributions available. We are going to go with the most popular one called Mint Linux. We are installing Linux for the purpose of learning and it doesn't really matter which flavor you go with because the core commands of Linux are going to be the same. Most of them differ in areas which are not really going to affect us in our learning. Essentially the guts of all these Linux are pretty much the same. If you have time and resources available you can even try different distributions. It's very easy to install Linux as you will see in this series of videos. So this is the broad picture. We have installed the virtual machine on our personal computer and now it's time to download the appliance and we're gonna import the appliance into the virtual machine. So on the roadmap, we are at step number three, that is download Linux appliance. Open up your browser and navigate to the website virtualboxes.org, it's in plural. Hit enter and you will see this page. On the top right side, you're going to see a search box. Here you want to enter Linux Mint without any space, Linux Mint, and hit the go button. On the next page, scroll all the way down and you are going to see the most recent version here I'm seeing Linux Mint 1.4 in your case you might see more recent version I want to download the most stable version so if I open up a new tab control T and go to wikipedia.org and enter here in the search box Linux Mint and hit the search button on the top right side you're gonna see the most stable release it says Linux Mint 14.1 so I'm good with 14 you might want to check if you're downloading the most stable release or not the download starts although a new site opens up in a new tab from SourceForge but the download starts you can see the extension .ova, it's a Oracle Virtual Box Appliance and it is 1.2 gigabyte file so it's going to take some time. At this point the Linux virtual machine or appliance has been completely downloaded. You can see here the file 1.2 gigabyte. Now it's time to start your Oracle Virtual Box software so that we can import this virtual machine or appliance into the Virtual Box software.